guys what is up I'm back with another video and in today's video it's actually going to be a boxycharm review slash unboxing this is actually like my first boxycharm video of the year so I am very very excited and I actually only have one box with me today I literally just got it today in the mail so it's actually the base box which is right here I did take a peek already in it so don't get mad at me you guys but I had to be prepared of what I was gonna start off first with my makeup or if I had to do like a full face but I can already tell that this month is gonna be a banger for BoxyCharm because from the sneak peeks that I've seen they had like really really good stuff and there's like this palette in my box that I was like really really dying to get and I ended up getting which made me so so happy but I'm not gonna make this a long intro if you guys are new to my channel hi welcome I hope you guys end up liking this video and if you end up liking my channel then please subscribe also don't forget to turn on the bell notification down below so you can get notified whenever I upload a video and you won't miss out and make sure you guys follow my social medias I'm very active on my Instagram and that is pretty much it let's get into the video so for the first product in our box is actually going to be an eye product as you can tell I already have my eyebrows done but it's actually the Viola Voss it's called All of You Forever Eyeshadow Palette. When I saw this on the BoxyCharm page, um, I think when they did like the sneak peek. Also, if you follow BoxyCharm sneak peek on Instagram, she does like more of like the BoxyCharm sneak peeks or like spoilers. But, and I absolutely love her channel and her page in general. So when I saw this on the BoxyCharm page and the BoxyCharm sneak peek page, I got so excited because I think this is such a pretty palette and I'm kind of bummed because right now we're in winter and I feel like this was kind of late in a way. I feel like olive tones are more like fallish and like you see this palette you get like two olive tones and you get like some neutrals with like red like tints in it and you get a black a silver and like a white cream shade but I was obsessed with this palette and I was dying to get this palette because it is so beautiful and I'm actually going to be doing like a makeup look with this palette pretty soon and I'm like really excited for that as well I'm gonna use this palette right now and I'm gonna try to create like a bum ass look or something simple because it's honestly super lame right now and I have to go to bed pretty soon i'm going to take my p louise base and this is in rumor one and i'm just gonna dot a couple like a small amount on my eyelid just like this and then i'm gonna take my brush that i used to buff out my concealer and if i forgot to let you guys know but for this month's theme for BoxyCharm, it was actually um, called A Fresh Start, which is something that we all need despite everything that happened in 2020. And I couldn't agree with that theme. I think it's perfect, like a perfect way to start off 2020. Or 2021, I mean. But I'm just going to buff this out. Make sure I have no creases. I'm going to take this ABH brush. And I'm going to first dip into... I think I want to... I want to really use the olive shades. So I'm going to dip into Endless Desire. Which is this brown shade right here. And I'm going to start by... Putting that to my crease just like this and these are super pigmented I love all violet Voss because 
their formulas are really blendable and they're pigmented and they're just like really great eyeshadows. And I'm gonna start blending that with whatever I have left on my brush. I'm just gonna start bringing that to like my like inner part of my eye. And I'm just gonna be blending, uh, not blending, but like building this color up to the intensity that I want it, and just also like blending the edges. And I'm gonna grab a bigger blending brush, so like this big fluffy one, and I'm gonna blend out the edges even more just to create like a seamless blend. I'm gonna deepen up the crease by going in with this small brush right here and I'm gonna go gonna go in with charmed so this brown shade right here and again I'm gonna stamp that into my crease I went back in with my ABH brush and I'm blending the edges to the charmed eyeshadow that we placed. I'm going back and blending. So I'm going to go in with my P. Louise base. Just going to dot a little bit on my hand. And I'm going to grab my brush that I used to cut my crease. it like that because I feel like that's just as good as it's gonna get so we're gonna go back into our palette and I'm actually gonna go back in with that small tapered brush and we're gonna gonna go into that brown deep shade called charm and I'm gonna start placing that on the outer part of my eye or like my v-shape and I'm gonna tap tap and kind of blend it too. We're going to grab our other end of our ABH brush. I want to go in with the shade Olive Me. Because I feel like it's more of like a brighter olive tone. So I'm going to grab some of that. And I'm going to just place that on our lid. And... I think this looks pretty. Not as sparkly as I would want it. Or I like it, I mean. I'm gonna grab a tinier brush. This is the Morphe M213. And I'm gonna go in with that same shimmer shade and just place it in the areas which is harder to reach. Kind of like perfecting the crease so it doesn't look too like wonky when I was cutting it. And I'm going to take a little bit of the black shade with the same brush. It's called Infinity. And I'm just going to darken up the corner a little. 
I did get a little bit of fallout, but not too much. So that's great. And I'm going to do liner as well. Okay, so I'm back you guys with the finished look and this is what the eyes are looking like so I love the olive tone from the shadow I also added like some black gel liner on my um, lash line and I tried smoking it out with some of the black shade in the palette and lashes are in IG from Batty B lashes but this is the completed eye look. It's super simple, but it looks pretty glam at the same time. I am back with the finished result. Basically, I did all my makeup. I am very sorry that I didn't show the foundation. Not really the foundation, but the tinted moisturizer. Like how it blended out <clears throat> because I was actually on the phone with my best friend, so... I also tried out another product off camera, so I'm going to go through the box with you guys, which is right here. But this is how my makeup is looking like. So this is what my skin looks like. The eyes, obviously. I love how they came out. And I apply my own lip color. But I think my makeup looks super good right now. This is what the card looks like. I don't, I forgot to show you guys the card. But I was going to let you guys know what variation I got. But usually the variation is like on the corner right here with the heart. And it tells you like the number. But for some reason, on mine it says C2101002 slash BA. I don't know if that's like going to be like a new thing this year. But that's what it says. And I did tally up all my products. So I'll let you guys know at the end how much everything was for the box. The palette, I'm going to go through. I love the palettes. I love the olive tones, as you guys like already know. I was like really, really hoping to get this palette. And I really, really like it so far. The shadows are super pigmented. They blend out nicely. And the shimmers are beautiful as well. I would, in the future though, sh like spray, like some setting spray on like the brush to like make it more glittery. But that's just me. And this retails for $34. So you already got your values um, or like your money back from just this product alone. The next product I really liked was... The Apple and Balmy Glow Lip Mask from Seraphine Botanicals. So this is like a lip mask to like apply it before you go to sleep. And it just like hydrates your lips. I actually like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And that one's more of like a thicker formula. But this one I, is like more of like a runny. Kind of like almost like an oil but I actually like it. I really love that it also smells like apples and it just smells like like amazing but this retails for $25 so $25 for right here uh, the third product in my box is the trust fun beauty lipgasm in the color unprofessional um, 
So I actually did not try this on my lips even though it is a lip product because if you guys have watched my videos before you guys know I do not like pink lip products or even like coral shades like this because I just don't think that they look good on me and therefore I am going to be giving this away and it's just like something that I wouldn't want in my box but this retails for $18. For the next product is actually from the brand Pure and this is their 4-in-1 tinted moisturizer. This has SPF in it of 20 and this retails for $35. So this product, I was aware you guys that this is a tinted moisturizer. So it's not going to be full coverage and it it's just supposed to like hydrate your skin. But it does like look like the color was going to match me. However, I'm looking at the color and I feel like the color isn't right with my skin tone. I feel like it's a little too warm or like a little too pink for me. And I don't think I would wear this alone, especially during the daytime. So I don't know if I will continue to use this because the color, I just don't like the way it's sitting on my skin. And... If you, I mean, if you get this product in your box and you like tinted moisturizers, then I think you'll like this. And, you know, there's nothing really much I can say about it because it's not like full coverage. It's, you know, it's a tinted moisturizer. So that's my thoughts on this. So this was more of like a maybe. But this retails for $35. And the last product in our box is also another product that I didn't get to use. But it is from the brand Pharmacy and this is a newer product from their line. And this is the Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner with mor Moringa and Papaya. So when I read this product, it, it's supposed to like basically like help brighten up the skin. It's supposed to help with like the pores if you have really large pores. And also with like oil control. And this would be like... I guess like perfect for like oily skin or combo skin so once I'm done with like my toner that I'm using now I'm going to give this a try but I'm like super interested in this product and this alone retails for $28 which isn't super expensive now that I think about it but that's just my opinion the value for the whole box is actually added up to like 140 so for $25 plus tax a month is actually a good deal if you're getting like a value over a hundred dollars and every month I get super excited for BoxyCharm because I always know that they're gonna deliver us with amazing products and there's always something that I get excited for in my box and they don't really disappoint me so far so if you guys ended up liking this review and you guys liked my box, please give this video a big huge thumbs up and like leave down a comment below if you love BoxyCharm or like what did you get in your box. I would love to know what you guys got. Did you like this month's box? Also keep on the lookout for my premium review. Because I'm just going to wait for my premium review, to, like my premium box to get here. That way I can film the review for you guys. But this box was pretty good. There was only like two products that I didn't like. But I will see you guys on the next video.